strong team today was uh, the um, German champion uh, FC Bayern München. Um, are you more excited to play uh, against such a team? Uh, we thought we were going to play better, but we didn't. So it's it's now a question for us to come back to practice and um, do everything we can. So the next week we're going to play a lot better than this. Okay, but I think it's it's you have to say it's okay because they are very uh, very strong very uh, strong in uh, defense and in offense, of course. And you were the top scorer with uh, 40 points, 14 points. How is it to be uh, the top scorer against uh, Bavaria Munich for you? Well, not a big deal for me. Uh, I mean, I came here as a, as a shooter, as a scorer, so everybody expects me to, to uh, bring some energy on the court and score some points, help our team. But uh, like you said, maybe it's okay. I don't think it's okay today because uh, uh, we definitely are a good team, very good team at home. And uh, we had some great games over here. And uh, if we are able to beat uh, team number four, number five, I don't see a reason why we cannot play tie game or a really good game against team number three. Okay. So uh, we are obviously not satisfied. Uh, this wasn't wasn't good enough today. And like I said, we need to work hard to to be better next time. Okay, so you have to, to train again against uh, for the next game. Uh, we had a lot of fans today in the Oberfrankenhalle. Um, I think 3,000, 3,440 about. Uh, how is it to play in front of such an uh, audience? They were so loud today. I was just excited because the fans were so loud. How is it for you to play uh, as a team in front of uh, the fans? Well, for me and uh, also for the team, it's uh, absolutely amazing. I mean, I came from Czech Republic for the, from the team that was uh, uh, on a Euro Cup level and we played against uh, some great teams and we never had so many people come into the game and, and support us. So when I see this uh, German culture, German excitement, uh, and it's not only basketball, it's also soccer, ice hockey. I mean, it's really amazing because uh, then as a player on the court, it's a lot easier for us to, to bring our best and to, to, to leave everything on the court. <coughs> I'm sorry. Because uh, we, we, we can see that a lot of people are behind us. They support us. They uh, push us to play better. And it's it's definitely an amazing feeling f for me. Uh, I I uh, experienced such a thing for the first time in my in my career. And uh, even though our gym is not the biggest in the German Bundesliga, there are teams that are six or ten thousand people. I believe that uh, we really have, uh, I mean, almost the best fans in in a in a, in a Bundesliga because. The people are really cheering for us, standing. They support us when we when we on a good run. They really uh, push us. They're excited. In some of the arenas where we play, for example, in Bonn or in Berlin, the people are just are just sitting and uh, and watching the game and enjoying. It and they are not cheering so much. So it's definitely, uh, I think, the the best place uh, uh, regarding the fans uh, in in Germany. And also, uh, I know a few players around the league, and they, they everybody said it's, it's really, really hard to come and play in Bayreuth because the uh, people are crazy, the, the players are out of their minds, and it's, it's just, uh, it's just amazing. So you maybe want to say thank you to all the fans here. Yeah, definitely thank you. <laughs> Ja, vielen, vielen Dank auch, dass ihr hier seid noch jetzt auch nach dem Spiel, auch nach der Niederlage. Uh, Lukas, um, you played against Bavaria Munich. Do you know any of uh, the guys you played against today? Well, I know a little bit uh, Vladez Timac because he played on, a, on the same team in Czech Republic where I played. And I know Anton Gavel because he's a Slovakian. Uh, he was born in Slovakia and now he's, he has a German passport. So we talked a little bit and... Uh, And how is it? Um, do you get to, to know each other? Or do, you, do you talk to each other when it's game day? Well, uh, I have to admit that we are professionals, so during the game um, we don't really talk too much. We just say hi before the game and then uh, just, just something a little bit uh, after the game, like two or three minutes, but there's no, no really a uh, lot of time to to sit somewhere and talk about what happened or, or what's going to happen next. So uh, it's just to like say hello and uh, wish good luck to each other. 
Okay. Uh, when it's game day, what uh, what do you do on game day? How does your day start? Um, what do you have for breakfast, maybe? <laughs> Just tell us uh, something about your day today. <laughs> well, uh, usually we have the morning practice, the shoot around. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't do anything, no kind of habits or something like that. I just, I just, uh, I just want to get like warmed up, uh, ready for the game, stretch a little bit so the body feels good. When did you get up today? What time? Uh, about 8:30. Okay. So, you know, and uh, it, it depends. I mean, so, some people are like this that they want to get up uh, on a certain hour and then have something to breakfast all the time the same and then the same thing for lunch but I'm not like that uh, I don't I don't believe that uh, uh, and we, we, it's a it's a it's a team sport so I, I feel like everybody has to do his, his own job and, and be responsible for himself and I don't think uh, kind of I don't know selfish and, and uh, feel like if I If I have the same stuff every day, then I will play good all the time. Well, I mean, we work as a team, so every every player has to be uh, responsible to keep himself healthy, uh, ready for the game, and, and then work as a team. It's, it's sometimes it it's 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 tough. It's it's not easy, but uh, we're trying to do our best, and I uh, hope after this uh, after this tough loss, we, we will we will come back to practice and, and be better next week. What about the other guys in your team? Do, does anybody have uh, such a habit or ritual before the game, like uh, going to the shower? Or <laughs> do you know anything about the other guys? Well, uh, to be honest, I don't really know. But uh, the truth is that uh, two years ago I had a I had a teammate. He was American, and he took a really hot shower before every before every game, like when he when he came to the locker room. So. We were like kind of surprised. What is he doing? But then you get used to it. And um, uh, I just, I just don't really uh, uh, want to know what the other guys are doing. It's their private life. So yeah, of course, <laughs> it's important what you do. And just a last question for today: What, what do you do today? What, uh, how does your uh, game day end? Usually, and uh, maybe today. Well, uh, the game was at three o'clock, so there's still some time to do. Uh, I will probably just uh, just relax, watch some movie, go to sleep, and, and tomorrow morning come back to practice because uh, the game on Friday is really important for us. And we had a tough schedule, five five really good teams, five uh, really tough games, and uh, we were able to to get two two wins out of that. I think the game against Bonn and, and Ulm were, were really good. And those are kind of games to remember from this season. Of course. But uh, now it's time to be to be serious and to give everything because uh, now we have the uh, now we have the games against the opponents where, where it really counts. We're gonna play Krausheim, we're gonna play Lud Ludwigsburg, then Göttingen and teams like this. So uh, kind of end of uh, those games where you can get excited and enjoy them now it's it's time to really work hard and and, and uh, do our best to to get some wins and after that we see where we are and what we can do we wish you good luck for the next games and thank you very much for being here and um, yeah you get another applause for uh, the game today Lukas Paliser unser top scorer des heutigen abends vielen dank euch und wir wünschen euch noch einen schönen